Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something I'm very, very excited to test. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I have tried this once before, before I started doing YouTube, um, but I got the wrong colour. Um, and this is the first time I've ever actually seen this colour anywhere. I think this is the lightest one they do. This is 105. I'm just on the Boots website and I'm pretty sure this is the lightest one. Um, it's 105. And I also picked up the Fit Me um, concealer as well. This is in shade 10. There was only two. There was this one or a darker one. Um, so I don't know. From what I've seen on what I've seen, what I've seen um, on the Maybelline website in the UK, it looks like there's four colours, which is crap. Um, and then on the Boots website, there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. I think there's 18 shades of this but they do just look like quite a lot of different colour ivories to be honest it doesn't seem to be a lot of deeper skin tones which is pants for such a big brand um, right I'm just going to do it uh, it basically says about this let me just go onto the boots website uh, it's been dye designed for normal to oily skin blurring micro powders at refined pores while shine is being absorbed for a natural matte finish um, yeah i'm just really excited to try it i will bring you guys in a little bit closer and i will do one half with my sponge and one half with my brush as i always do when i test out foundation um so yeah let's just i say bring you in i just mean move the camera closer towards myself um because i'm not yet professional enough to have a camera that does it for me um so yeah just gonna get on it and do it so it's all sealed this was 6.99 and i think boots at the minute have got a offer on um where you like buy two get one free maybe so uh, they don't have the 18 shades in boots by the way when i was in there there was like six different shades um and i think only one of them was a, di a like a darker color a deeper skin tone so it's not great um but wherever i've been before there's sometimes only been like three shades and like the darkest one being kind of like a little bit darker than me um i'm going to put this on i'm going to do this side with my sponge um and i'm hoping this color is white because the last one i had i think i got the i think i had 115 and it was just too warm for me but this seems to be quite a good color match i did check it on my face I was quite actually lucky I went in without any makeup on so I could just test it on my jawline to see um, and it seemed okay but it was in like fluorescent shop lights so I have primed my skin already by moisturising with my L'Oreal Hydro Genius and then um, putting my Rimmel 8 hour primer on as I always do so that has gone on it's quite light coverage i thought it was going to be more like fuller coverage than that it's pretty but it is quite a light coverage so we'll try the other side with a brush and see if we can get some more coverage with a brush and that is sometimes the case and it's hard as well when it's not in a pump you don't really know well, i don't i think quite a lot of people do i'm just not very good at judging how much I need. Whereas in a pump, I kind of know I generally want like between one and two. I'm just gonna buff this in with my Morphe Y6. Okay, I'm getting more coverage with the brush. It's clinging to the dry bits around my nose and this is targeted towards uh, like normal to oily and I do get like oily patches um, but I'm definitely like combo rather than just straight oily like I always have dryness around my nose regardless of how much I moisturise mm, I prefer the coverage on the sponge side, or the finish, on this side it's really nice and smooth and this side it seems to just be sticking 
see if I can show you in every single little mark on my face so I'm gonna go over it with a sponge and see if I can get rid of that finish yeah okay that's fine I'm gonna leave it for a minute and then we're gonna try and go in for a second layer I'm gonna go in for a second layer now just to see if we can build this up to a more sort of I'd say I want to kind of try and get to medium really because this just seems really light um, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin it feels really nice and light um, but it's just not really covering any of my redness much so again I'm just going to do this with the sponge because I prefer the finish yeah that's layering quite nicely this is actually a really nice colour match um, interested to see if it oxidizes I don't think I've got any other Maybelline foundations to be honest I really like the finish it's really nice and it is very matte um, it is kind of showing a bit of pores around here I didn't use a pore filling primer specifically because this says matte and poreless so I wanted to see if it could do it on its own but if I like the finish but it's just showing my pores I would just use a um, pore filling primer the colour is like a perfect match it's like probably the best match colour for me that I've tried in any foundation so far and I've got a lot so I'm really hoping this doesn't oxidise. I really like the finish. Really, really like the finish. I am going to go and re-wet this because it's gone a bit dry. And then we'll try and have a go with the concealer. I can't actually believe how much I like the coverage of this. Um, so next up we've got the concealer. Um, have a look at the see it looks really yellow and this was the lightest one they had we'll see how it goes it might be okay but it might not that looks a bit yellow just do a little feels really nice and creamy but we'll see I don't know how quick this is going to dry so I will do this and then I'll highlight See, that looks a little bit yellow but on the Maybelline website there's literally just four but they don't say numbers on them it just said um, where is it ah oh, it says 10 is light um, so I think this is the lightest one it looks quite nice there it just I think it's blending out better than it looks just on its own so I really like this I think the concealer is probably a little bit yellow I am going to remedy that just by putting a little bit of the collection um, last imperfection on there just to kind of lighten it a bit. Because I think the collection one is a little bit too light, but I think mixed together these two could be really nice if they play nicely together. I am super, super happy with how this is looking. I'm going to set it all now just with my stay mat and a big brush. I do feel very, very matte. Um, but I'm interested to see 
how Where's my little brush? I love my little brush. Um I'll be interested to see how this wears throughout the day, like if it's gonna break apart on my nose, which lots and lots of foundations do, um, or if it's gonna end up looking cakey. But at the minute, I'm really, really happy with it. I've also got a bronzer to test. Um, this is a Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzing Compact. And it's in light, light matte, so I thought I would give this a go because I always find bronzers are too dark for me because I am so freaking pale. Ooh, but this is really nice. Oh, I really like this. Really not good. That was a weird face. Sorry. The light in here is so odd today, but I do look, my skin just looks airbrushed. Like, that is cray cray. Okay, so I will wear this for the rest of the day and see how it wears. If anything happens, like it just starts to crap itself on my face, I will come back and do, well, I'm gonna come back and do check-ins anyway, but I will, I'll let you know. So I'll speak to you in a bit. I thought I would just show you in daylight. It's really bright, that's why I'm like. Um, it's been about an hour since I put it on. I don't think it's oxidized. Um, but I really, really like, really, really like the finish. That's probably the best light. Um, I'm absolutely loving the bronzer. It's so nice. Um, I've like contoured a little bit with it, but it doesn't look like stupidly harsh. So I think this might be a new favourite bronzer. Um, like up close, you can see, you can see a little bit round here where I'm dry. I've got a really big paw here, so ignore that. But I really love the finish. So, the dog's upset about something. What's wrong, baby? He thinks it looks nice. That's what he's crying about. So, yeah, I'll wear this for the rest of the day and check back. Hey, guys. It's been about four hours since I put the foundation on. I don't think it's oxidised at all. Um, let me just try and pull the blind up. So can... I absolutely love how it looks. The only issue I've got is literally just here, like I said in the last check-in. I've got a ginormous pore there. Um, and I'm just dry here, so I think I probably need to sort of up my skincare. But, I absolutely love it. So, um, I will keep wearing this. And I will possibly do another video another like end another bit of this as a check-in um wearing this out and about because i am i've literally just been in the house for the day i will check in later when it's been more hours um and if i go out and it's like because it's still quite warm outside i will see how it fares but you can see it's you can still see my skin through it a little bit but it's just really lovely. I'm like proper, proper obsessing over this. Um, I should have set my under eyes better because I appear to have set some crinkles in them. I am going to look online and see if I can get a lighter concealer. Um, maybe see if I can get one from the States because I do feel like this one is a little bit yellow and I did have to add the collection one on top of it as well. But for now, I'm just really happy with that, how it how it looks. Doesn't hide the chins, does it? No. Um... So yeah, I will do my final check-in in a little while, and yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, this is my final check-in for this foundation, and my brother's just got here, so yeah, I really like it. If you like these videos, you should give it a thumbs up, you should definitely subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!